I'm Erin Poppin, and this is my soapbox speech. On average, there are 123 suicides per day. 47,173 records in 2017 alone, and the suicide rate is reaching an all-time high in 2020. I want you to close your eyes and imagine the person in the story is your friend, your daughter, or your loved one. You get a text from your daughter during her seventh hour. She says, Mama, I'm not okay. Can I talk to someone? You're confused. I don't know. Maybe she's sick. You pick her up and tell her to talk to you, but she says, I can't, Mama. You're going to make me feel bad. Upon finding out she's been having suicidal ideations, you panic. You don't know what to do, and you call her therapist. She says, you need to take her to the emergency room. You both hear this through the tiny speaker on your phone. They put her in a gown and on a hospital bed. Mom, there are so many people that need this bed more than I do. Doesn't this seem a bit excessive? She knew when and how she wanted to kill herself. She was put in output group. She was put in outpatient group therapy a two-week partial hospitalization program, and you're stuck on suicide watch. One Tuesday, your friend leaves class early. It's been a week, and you miss her, but you don't worry because of the happy and positive personality she has in front of everyone. I won't say it's two weeks, though. You and your friend group get nervous. Is she sick? On vacation? I mean, she would have told us, right? This is what my mom, my friends, and all those close to me were put through. And this is my story. Everyone near me didn't know how bad my depression and thoughts of suicide were, if they knew at all. Two out of three people living with mental illness suffer in silence. Does anyone ever wonder why? With all the stigma around mental illness, we don't feel like we have anyone to turn to. We aren't just a statistic. We aren't just looking for attention. We are people. We are your daughter, your son, your brother, your sister, your friend. On the 7th of January, my friend committed suicide. She hung herself. She was only 14. And the 14th was her viewing. And if she had the support that I felt from my friend, that I felt from her friends and family, I can't help but think we could have saved her. She was only 14. I'm reaching out to you now to help me save the lives of the people who are struggling. Help realize that people with, help realize that mental illness should be normalized and know it's okay to reach out for help before it's too late. Thank you.